of the subject of this book. The good Dr. Livingstone. Would he be one of us pirates, Captain? No, you do, Larry Dunderhead. Dr. Livingstone was the admirable missionary who first explored the darkest depths of Africa. And was he writing that heavy book, Captain? No, Smee. This tome was produced by one Professor Argyle, Dr. Livingstone's amanuensis. A man you said what? Captain. Ah, uh, man, you insist me. Assistant. Acolyte. Agent. Lucky. Oh, what do you mean, like is what I am to you, Captain? Exactly more. Me? Professor Argyle was to Dr. Livingstone like as what you are to me. Quickly, twins! I want to see this pirate eradicator in action! Patience, Peter! A little seed and a hungry bird will begin the fun once it's learned! Be a pirate, not a litter pair. 
And I want you to be a cook. If you ask me, it's time for a forecastle council. What you say, Alf Mason? I says the captain's brave since it's rose. Aye, and I never thought to be a turnpike sailor. Cook says right. It's time for a forecastle council. Show that your part in me captain's play, Mullins, or I'll tickle your sponsors with Johnny Clark's crew. If Captain, uh, uh, the good Dr. Livingstone, that is, wants exploring, then P. Jabers, exploring is what he'll get. Or my name's not Bozen Smith, uh, Professor Argyle. The pulleys need refining. No, the sprockets need a lining. Tin tops and copper bottoms. Those twins and their silly pirate eradicator are driving me to destruction. I'm bored. Come on, Tink, let's fly. I am truly blessed on this journey. My men are as fine a group as they have ever traveled with. Not an unkind word or look amongst them. I only hope that we shall soon find the lost trains of this wild land. <sighs> Peter's right. This is boring. I want to go flying, too. Can I, Wendy? Can I? Come on. something, Mullins. I hear ringing in me ears. Dry lands me doom. Oh, Malaria has struck my faithful guide, Kuengo. Drink this, my faithful Kuengo. Quinny, the only cure for this dreadful disease. Professor Argyle, we must pitch camp. My loyal Coango needs rest. Aye, aye, Captain. Doctor Livingstone, sir. Bearers, me can't meet his. I fear this African sun is making me imaginative, and hear them too. Oh. 
My poor malaria-ridden Gawango. Do you desire more quinine? Whoa! That's the ticket, dear boy. Rest. Have you served Mrs. Livingston her tea, Professor Argyle? Pour it out right now, I am, Dr. Livingstone, sir. Mr. Smee, why do you call Captain Hope Dr. Livingstone? And why does he call Wendy his mother? The good captain is temporarily too lally. And a good thing it is for you, Miss Wendy, or I'd have you skewered on Johnny Cork's grove, I know. Let's fly away, Wendy. No, we must take advantage of Hook's delusion and lead him away from the underground house. David, my boy. Dearest Mama, was tea suitable? Quite suitable, but I can't say as much for your campsite. The light is bad and the scenery inelegant. Oh, then, Mother dear, we shall decamp at once. My only hope is that we may find a lost tribe to whom we can bring the benefits of civilization. Uh, Sunny Boy, I have a feeling a lost tribe is quite close at hand. I'll be harpooned if I'll carry this music box another blessed inch. I think your bearers have tramped far enough, son. And this spot will make a good campsite. As you wish, Mama. Bearers, it's camp! I'll have Coango set the table for tea, Mama. Mother dear, is to bring civilization to this lost tribe of bear of which you speak. It's my set my friends free, Captain Hook. What? No, we come in peace. in the air like that. So primitive they've never even heard of the law of gravity. Who are you to call us primitive, you murdering cutthroat? My dear young man, surely you are under a delusion. I am no cutthroat. I am Dr. David Livingston. And you, I can only assume must be the chief of the tribe of Pan, of whom my dear mamma has spoken. Uh, your majesty, allow me to explain. Why, uh, yes, Dr. Livingstone, uh, chief of the lost tribe of Pan, that's exactly who I am. Uh, perhaps you would care to learn some of our customs. This is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. And this is how the tribe of Pan defies wild animals. It is quite the most <laughs> successful way. <laughs> Extraordinary, my dear Professor Argyle. We are learning a, a unique tribal dance. Will I teach them a dance? Don't you jig from the end of the yard arm? Enough is enough, Peter. This is a wonderful chance to make peace with the pirates. We mustn't waste it. That doesn't sound much fun to me. On the other hand, I've lost interest in this game. Come on, I've got a great idea. What are you waiting for? I do so hope. Chief Pan will return, Mother dear. I plan to knight him in the good queen's name. Knight him? Sir Peter Pan? Perhaps I'll be able to persuade him to return. Leave it to me, son. Coconuts again? 
Oh, since me tell me to make the coconut scum, so to keep Dr. Livingstone happy. The devil take Dr. Livingstone and Captain Hook. Kick it at it. What in the name of blind Rafferty? Dr. Livingstone, who oh, speak to me, good doctor? Dr. Livingstone? What are you blabbing about? Me? Keep your fucking eye molars off me, you lout! It's a capital offense to manhandle a superior officer, boatswain. I'll have you broken for evil seamen. Have you lost your moorings, you gay face? Somebody got you? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Man? <laughs> Am I missing something, Robert Mullins? Don't tell me one of you uneducated slack brains has delivered himself of a joke. Half minute, John. Speak before I tie your vocal cords into tiny bones. On top of your head. Me. Well, sure now, Captain. Step into your tent and I'll explain the entire Van Jack situation to you. I will. You let me do what? A night? Yes. There'll be the greatest celebration ever held in Neverland. Me? Yes. Tree? Yes. Food? <laughs> oh, yes, Toodles. More kaboot than even you can eat. <laughs> it's a trap. Kate's right. Pirates will always be pirates, but I'll never have another chance to be a knight. Come on, come and see Hook dub me, Sir Peter Pan. <laughs> Welcome, Chief Pan. I trust you will enjoy our diversion. Hey, can we try your Ferris wheel, Mr. Mason? Aye, you little fuck. <laughs> Wishing you <of> joy? <laughs> enjoy the ride, Cullies. <laughs> May we try some of your candy cooking? Oh, of course, boys. It's for you I make the candy. No, see, if you will be so good as to practice kneeling before me. Kneel? I kneel to no one. You have to kneel to be knighted, Peter. It's part of the ceremony. Oh. Captain, decapitate the little blighter now. I have his head off, too. Hey, this isn't candy. Queen Victoria, I, Captain James Hook. Captain James Hook? Got the farewell. Yeah? <laughs> Snag the cully. Don't let him escape. What did you send for you, little rat? This was all a trap. You lied to me. Not so much a lie, dear Wendy. A simple delusion. Oh, no. There's no escaping this time. Back to Johnny Roger, lad. We'll use these flat catching fiddlestick peddler hides to scrape the barnacles off her hull. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we ro ro roll along for the deep blue sea. 
You'll sing a different tune when we're through, Captain Codfish. <laughs> but you'll not be there to teach me the tune, boy. <laughs> it's quite obviously a booby trap. He will tack around it. He don't look much like a booby trap to me. Look more like a booby trap for hungry pirate crew. <laughs> Hurry, twin! Cook them! Step a little closer to the edge of the hole, will you, dear boy? If I am to visit Davy Jones, at least I visit with full stomach. I can't believe anyone can be as unremitting a villain as Captain Hook. Oh, you humans are incurable optimists. What could never turn good? And thank heaven for that. How else could we have tested our pirate eradicator, Mark II? <laughs> but I'd love to see Hook's face right now. Belay, you lolly-jagging bosons. Me? Dr. Livingstone, I presume?